Kicking off on Saturday the 4th of July, the 2015 edition of the Tour de France will see its grand depart in the Netherlands with a 13.8 km individual time trial. This will offer a good early gauge as to who's arrived in form and who's firing on all cylinders. This opening in Utrecht will be flat, fast and will play out in the city centre. After day two's 166 km stage, all eyes will be on day three as the race heads south to Belgium for 100. 59.5 kilometers leaving from Antwerp and finishing up on the murder Hui and the first serious climb of this year's race. It's the first time the tour has visited this infamous ascent which averages out at 9.6% and tops out at a rather significant 19%. Aficionados will be familiar with the murder Hui from the one day classic Flesh Wallonne. On Tuesday the 7th of July the tour enters stage 4 from Sarang to Cambrai covering 223.5km as the riders take on the cobbles and cross the border from Belgium to France. The seven sections of Parve will mean riders fight for the front and the safer positions, so today anything could happen to the general classification. Then we move along the northern coast for four stages and on stage nine we'll see a 28km team time trial in scenic Brittany that could significantly affect the GC before the first rest day of the tour and a transfer down to the Pyrenees. Stage 10 kicks off the significant mountain stages for 2015 and the following day the riders tackle the mighty Col de Tourmalet, a big day for the polka dot jersey as well as the overall contention for yellow. Known as the unavoidable, it's the most used high mountain in the history of the Tour de France. Stages 10 and 11 also see the riders tackle the Côte de Borja Bay and Vie Segur, both Cat 4 climbs, as well as the Côte de Montori and the horse category La Pierre Saint Martin. What's more, we're adding in the Côte de la Cruz, Bagnères de Bigorre, Mauvaisin, Col d'Aspin and the Côte de Courteret. We could start to see some crucial clock watching as the riders look to make those all important time cuts as they scale the unpredictable days in the Pyrenees. The 2015 tour route will then spend a few days moving up through southern France and the massive Centrale towards the Alps and it's July the 22nd that sees the first of the true Alpine days. Coming after the second rest day, stage 17 will be a crucial one to watch, with the Category 1 Col de Luz coming 22 kilometres from the finish, among a tough sprinkling of cat twos and threes throughout the day. But it's stage 19 and 20 which could perhaps be some of the most interesting. The route from saint jean de Morian to La Tussuere clocks in at 138 kilometres, and the following day just 110.5 from modern val to Alpe d'Huez. Shorter mountain days are often some of the most exciting and as the penultimate day of the race finishes up with one we're all familiar with, Alp d'Huez, and marks the last day in the Alps, expect an all-important final fight for the Mayo Jaune. And then after 21 stages and two rest days, we'll be treated to the ever-exciting finale, procession and the unofficial sprinters world championships on the Champs-Élysées, where the riders will complete eight laps of the finishing circuit once they've entered Paris. Expect an awe-inspiring spectacle as the tour concludes for 2015.